Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to discuss and review the Star Wars trailer that debuted Monday during halftime of the football game. A fantastic trailer. Talk about goosebumps. Goosebumps. And it's amazing how looking at this trailer, the Star Wars trilogy that came out in the early 2000s just looks so old in comparison. This trailer looks very crisp, looks very clean. And the music was fantastic. You know, it's like the old school music, but it's updated and it sounds more dramatic almost. And, you know, we see Daisy Ridley's character in the early going dressed up as a Tusken Raider. And she's in a Star Destroyer, uh, a crashed Star Destroyer, probably just, you know, scavenging around for stuff like that. And we see um, John Boyega's character, Finn. And, uh, you know, when you, when you piece together the trailer, you could kind of tell... When we saw that first trailer where he kind of pops up and he's looking around, he obviously crashes on that planet, and uh, you know something something must have happened to him when he was you know a stormtrooper. Maybe he thought being a stormtrooper was doing something good, and he realized it wasn't, and that's why he kind of fled. And it looks like he ran into some trouble, but he made it out okay. And then from there, it looks like things just turn up. You know, we see you know the uh, we hear you know, the legends of this, and you know it all happened. Harrison Ford, like it's all true. Uh, Han Solo is all true, and it's just incredible. You know, when you consider 30 years or 40 years might have passed story-wise, uh, you would think that people would know that this stuff did happen, but apparently it's something that is not common knowledge, apparently, if Han had to kind of vouch for it actually happening. And there's a short moment where we see Han uh, embracing Leia. It looks like he's consoling her. She looks like she's crying. Why she's crying, we'll have to wait and find out in December. There's a lot of speculation out there already saying that it could be the loss of Chewie. There's a lot of rumors out there, people thinking that Chewie or Han will die in this movie. We'll have to see. I'm trying to really steer clear of any rumors now because I'm so excited for this movie and I really don't want to ruin it for myself. We really haven't seen Luke yet in any of these trailers. We can safely assume that it's Luke in the one scene that we've seen before touching uh, R2 with the metal hand. I think that's safe to assume it's him. But even if that's him, that's all we've seen of Luke. We have not seen much else. We see a nice shot of Finn ready to engage Kylo Ren with his lightsaber. And it'll be interesting to see just how much, at that point in the movie, Finn knows of fighting with a lightsaber, if anything. You know, he could just be using it to defend himself. Uh, Kylo Ren looks definitely like uh, someone who's going to be reckoned with. You know, he's obviously... Uh, talking to Vader's helmet, we assume that this is how the trailer's cut. Doesn't mean it'll turn out that way in the movie, but I will, you know, finish what you started, and then they show uh, Vader's helmet. Just a lot, a lot of things going on in this trailer, man, that just like, whoa, I can't believe we're getting back to this. It's just amazing, amazing, and the visual really just looks so beautiful. Especially when you consider that they're probably not even done yet, but visually it was gorgeous. Even the speed at which things are happening just seems faster in this trailer than it's been in the prior movies, and it just looks like a very intense action-packed Star Wars movie, and the story is gonna be very interesting because we all have, we've all heard leaks, we've all, people have, oh, I've read this, and, and we won't know for sure 100% until we see the movie, and they've only given us so much, and there's, they've given us enough to speculate about, but there's not enough to even be 100% sure, and that's great, and hopefully it stays that way for the next couple of months. Uh, but the trailer was just fantastic. I mean, I got goosebumps watching it. Uh, it kind of helped console the fact that my giants got destroyed. <laughs> So, um, and I've seen it a couple of times since then, and it's just very, very exciting. Uh, you know, there was one scene, one scene in particular, uh, where they show Kylo Ren, and, and, like, they show him from the back, and he looks like he's looking out, and there's, like, it looks like, uh, it looks kind of like a new Death Star. Like, it looked like something was firing. I don't know. It happened so fast, and then when I go back to it, it it's, like, such a bright flash. It's hard to tell, but it looks like a new Death Star, so who knows? Uh, it would make perfect sense if he's trying to finish Vader's work. Uh, and the other question is, you know, if he is a Sith, you know, they always say there's always two. Always two there are, <laughs> you know. Yoda said, always two there are, a master and an apprentice. So which is he, the master or the apprentice? And if he's the apprentice, who's the master? Because if there's a master, we have no knowledge. So obviously there's a very established Sith in this movie. We don't know who the Jedi is going to be. It looks like it's going to be Finn. But how much could Finn learn in such a short span of time and after being a stormtrooper? It just, it's such an exciting, exciting trailer, and it just gets me fired up. We're just so, we're not that far away. Uh, what did you guys think of this trailer? Because I thought it was fantastic. It, very quick trailer, a lot of things go by quick, you know what I mean? A lot of things flash by quick, but there was a lot of great scenes. TIE Fighters, X-Wings, the Millennium Falcon, uh, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Short Shot of Leia, the new characters, Finn. 
Uh, we see one character being tortured by Kylo Ren, I think his name is Poe, and that's gonna be interesting to see how that turns out. Just a lot of things going on, man. A lot of things going on. It makes you even wonder, where do they start with this stuff? When the movie starts, where does it start? You know, and, and oof, this is gonna be exciting. Exciting time, Star Wars is back. A couple of months away. How do you feel about this new trailer? It got me fired up. It got me, it gave me goosebumps. I'm sure it did the same for you if you're a big fan. And let me know in the comments below how you feel about this latest Star Wars trailer. Uh, from what I understand, going to be the last trailer we're gonna see until the movie comes out. I'm sure we'll see some commercial pieces leading up to the movie. There might be just cut-ups of the prior trailers, so. But that's it, guys. Home stretch. Star Wars is almost here. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description. You're watching ETN. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to discuss and review the Star Wars trailer that debuted Monday during halftime of the football game. A fantastic trailer. Talk about goosebumps. Goosebumps. And it's amazing how looking at this trailer, the Star Wars trilogy that came out in the early 2000s just looks so old in comparison. I mean, this trailer looks very crisp, looks very clean, and the music was fantastic. You know, it's like the old school music, but it's updated and it sounds more dramatic almost. And, you know, we see Daisy Ridley's character in the early going dressed up as a Tusken Raider, and she's in a Star Destroyer, uh, a Crash Star Destroyer, probably just, you know, scavenging around for stuff like that. And we see um, John Boyega's character, Finn, 